evening friends i welcome all of you to the 6th episode of the program from the desk of principal secretary as i promised you that in every episode i will sh- discuss with you share with you my thoughts regarding some of the relevant issues of that month the first issue which come to my mind is the jagannath vidya kanuka program 4 as all of us know that our schools are going to get reopened on 12th june and on that day as we have done in earlier years all the students entitlement whether it's a test book whether it's a notebook three pairs of uniform belt dictionary we will be putting in a bag and handing over to the students as far as jagannath vidya kanuka program is concerned the most important thing is the quality and as uh, some of you must have observed i have met few of you during my visit in the last one month personally i am i am going around and i am checking the quality friends jagannath vidya kanuka items have been procured centrally and the tender committee which has finalize the agencies principal secretary i am the chairman of that committee and i am conscious about my responsibility as i keep telling to my friends uh, when i go to the districts in any developmental department like education it is the last person of the last line if you translate that into our uh, department the student of the remotest the the school which is present in the remotest village if he gets the jagannath vidya kanuka kit in time and with all the items then only our program is successful friends as a headmaster as a school teacher as a class teacher if you see whenever these kits are being given to the students prime face here on the face of it if you think that there is any item which is not of good quality apart from informing it to the headmaster informing it to the mandal education officer or putting in the jagannath vidya kanuka app the first thing if you see an item and you get a feeling the student of your class is not getting a good quality whether it's a bag whether it's a shoes whether it's a test book it's a notebook uh, it's a uniform prime face if you feel that is not of a good quality take a f- picture make a video of 10 to 15 seconds and whatsapp me my personal number 9013133636 friends i have only one mobile phone with me is my personal number this number is my official number and this number is also my whatsapp number please share these my mobile number also with the parents after taking the kit back to the home at any point of time if the parents feel which is there in the jagannath vidya kanuka kit is not of a good quality they also can take a picture and whatsapp me directly i am available to all the 42 lakh students parents i am available to all my 1.8 lakh teachers as far as the any issue related to the vidya kanuka is concerned because why we have done the centralized procurement we have done the centralized procurement to ensure that every child whether he is studying in a school in a halahari mandal of karnool district or if he is studying school in ichchapuram mandal of shrikakulam district everybody gets a uniform kit and a and the best quality kit so that's my sincere request to to all the teachers that please be sensitive to the quality secondly after the distribution if you find that in your class for which you are the class teacher some item is not given then also do whatsapp me do let me know 
apart from telling MU, as I said, telling MU and telling and calling up the call center 14417, etc., etc., please also WhatsApp me that this kit has uh, these items missing, etc. The second part of, uh, of the Jagannath Vidya Kanuka kit is the second semester books. Unlike last year, when we gave the second semester books in month of first week of November or second week of November, this time we will be giving, we will be sending books to the schools by the third or fourth week of June. And the one day will be notified where one of the Saturdays when the students will be asked come to the schools without any test books, without any notebook and they will again carry back the second semester book back to the home. This time we don't want a situation where which I found in Manyam district where on the last day of the, the academic year also the students of a Kasturba Gandhi school were not having the mathematics book. The second issue which I thought I will discuss with all of you is about the quality of items which are being supplied centrally by under the Nadu Nedu program. As I said about the Vidya Kanuka program, why do we supply the items centrally? Supply items centrally, one is to ensure that there is a uniformity cut across all the schools. Second, yes, as a state, we save some money because when we place an order with a large quantity, we get this advantage uh, of a less rate. But more than one or two, we engage with the best companies to ensure that we give the best quality product to our schools, to our students. In Nadu Nedu program also, there are many items which are being supplied centrally. And for that procurement committee also, I am the chairman. The principal secretary is the chairman. Therefore, I have finalized all those vendors. In those items also, be it uh, benches, be it a Aru plant, be it a fan, be it uh, tube lights, be it uh, tiles in the toilet. If you prime a believe or you feel that it is not of the best quality, please take the video and send me on my personal number 9013133636. I had a video conference with all the vendors of Vidya Kanuka as well as with the, all the vendors of Nadu Nedu program. I told all of them Vidya Kanuka and the Nadu Nedu programs are the pride of school education department. If I find in any of this any of the items in these two programs which have been supplied for substandard quality or of a poor quality. And if I am convinced in my mind that it has been done with a malafide intention, not only in our country, not only in these 35 states of our country, I will write to the ambassadors of all the 215 countries in the world and I will get that company blacklisted in not only in India but throughout the globe. I will make that uh, company blacklisted. I told them that if you are supplying a good quality, I will ensure that you get your payment in the fastest possible time. I will personally monitor whether bills are uploaded, it is uploaded to the to our portal, an Arunedu portal or Vidya Kanuka portal and then finally payment, payment is done. But if it is of a bad quality, then I will not, not hesitate to blacklist you. I told them that I am close to everybody who is ethical, who practices truth, who practices dharma. I am close to every such person, whether he is a permanent government employee, whether it's an outsourcing employee, whether it's a contract employee, or he is a private person. I am close to everybody. But anybody who doesn't follow dharma, who believes in shortcut, who is not an ethical person, I am not close to him. I will not have any soft corner or sympathy for that person. So these two programs, friends, the Nadu Nadu programs, last one month I have visited large number of schools and I am very 
happy to say that in more in in most of the schools the programs are going on a brisk pace we have told all the headmasters please first focus on the existing classroom let us repair rejuvenate the existing classrooms put the benches paint them beautify them and after completing the work of the existing classrooms then look at the construction of additional classroom the third point which i thought i will share with all of you in this uh, program is the exciting academic year which, which is coming current academic year of 23 24 which will be remembered in the history of of school education of government of andhra pradesh for the year of digital education education technology led teaching and learning this is a year where the year will start with 30000 classrooms of 6000 odd high schools will have interactive flat panels with byju's content from class 4 to class 10th loaded in those interactive flat panels we will be having the 10000 primary schools where we will be putting the smart tv and in this also the byju's content from class 4 to class 10th of science social science and maths uploaded nowhere at this scale nowhere in the world the digital education or technology led learning and teaching has been taken up friends we are spending huge amount on on this initiative for providing this infrastructure it is the responsibility of each one of us as a teacher as a headmaster as a subject teacher as a gt teacher to make use of digital infrastructure these it facilities friends we are all are government servant we all are civil servants one of the biggest responsibility of any government servant any government employee any civil servant is to give the maximum return to the taxpayers money wherever it is invested cost lot of money the the interactive fl- flat panels the smart tvs it costs lot of money being a sensitive civil servant we must ensure that there is a re- there is a return on this investment this is an investment by the by the government in our schools please use them anything new in our life for few days it looks very difficult to us but if we start using it then it becomes part of our life as i keep telling about using shoes by the students the first 100 days if any teacher puts more effort and gets used to using these ifps and the smart tvs for his teaching after 100 days he will he or she will get lot of ideas as a class teacher as a subject teacher i will urge upon if you in a primary school the smart tv will be put it in the smart tv room please ensure that you are using smart tv facility in the primary school and if it is a high school please ensure in that in your classroom if ifp is there you are making use of it that's the one promise i want you to give me that in this academic year definitely you will use usage of ifps and smart tv is oxygen to us is oxygen to me personally if i go during my visit if i find my teachers using ifps and smart tvs it will give me lot of ideas it will it will give me ideas that how can i empower my teachers more and more how can i equip my teachers more and more to use to leverage all the power of digital technology for imparting better education to the students of to our states that was the third topic i thought i will share with uh, with all of you and the fourth topic is also uh, is about ensuring that have coverage of our lesson plan and the checking and or evaluating the notebooks of the students in time we starting the new year new academic year led by gone it said led by gone be by gone what has happened in the last academic year whatever the way you have handled your classes just put it aside 
see it like as in 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 sports or in a cricket match a player takes the match it's a new match it's a new test match it's a new series which you are starting on 12th june friends if you want a uh, me to give you any advice and sincere advice out of my experience of last 28 to 30 years of my service in government my only advice to you is keep telling yourself keep telling yourself that whatever is your energy level on day 1 that is whatever is your energy level on 12th june same energy level should be there in july august september october november december till the 30th april the last day of the academic year every day tell yourself whether it's in you are in june or july or in october is my inner, ask this question to yourself is my energy level same as it was on the first day when schools were reopened in the last 2 3 months on the workbooks of not less than 300 to 400 students and the common thing which i observe was first two three chapters chapters which were taught in the first two months in july mid of august all the 300 students 400 students i find students have written as well as it has been checked by the teachers also but afterwards then the slippage starts therefore if we take this year i will urge upon keep look keep self evaluating your energy levels at our age it is not the supervision by others it is the internal supervision it's all about introspection it's all about putting our own self benchmark asking this question every every day whether i am on a track is the lesson plan for the week whether i have covered it whether i have checked the notebooks of all the students in this week nobody in the world no human being in the world actually clear the backlog if it is accumulated for more than a week don't allow don't allow for god's sake don't allow any backlog to be accumulated and clear this box but if there is a backlog about the lesson plan if there is a backlog about not checking the the workbooks or the notebooks please clear during that week only in the last 6 months the many teachers whether it was in palnadu district whether it was in satsai district whether it was in in vishakhapatnam district in the rajmandri district it was even in 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 shrikakulam district there are many places i had a picture with the student and the teacher complimented the teacher i complimented the congratulated him fantastic work the teacher has done and as fresh as the last week when i went to aluri sitaram raju district in one of the village in kumpeta mandal i went to one of the primary school and then I randomly picked up one work book of a class four student 200 there were must be around 150 to 160 or 200 questions in that work book each one of them was checked wherever the child has student has not done it correctly the teacher has corrected it all 100 percent perfect i complimented teacher mr anand rao and had a picture in the coming year i would like to have in every my visit to the districts every visit i want to have those smiling pictures with not less than 10 to 15 teachers and that's possible that is in our hands there is no external factor in this for doing this there is a student there is a teacher and the transaction between only two of them no third person is there it is achievable it is doable i would like to in my career i would like to remember the year academic year 23 24 of government of andhra pradesh is a year 
where every every teacher all 160000 teachers have actually completed their lesson plan on time remember friend it is always said a chain is as strong as its weakest link why as a as an individual i should be a weakest link i should not be the weakest link as a teacher i should tell myself i will complete my lesson plan let us together not give opportunity to anybody to any parents to question us and saying look my child is going to the school every day here is the the proof that every day he has gone to the school why his workbook or notebook was not checked on the weekly basis why should we give that opportunity to any parents our responsibility we should do i am also whenever i am going to the to the districts i am talking to the parents i am appealing to them also that whenever the child comes back to home they should spend some time with them they should also keep constantly talking to the to the children in fact what my advice has been to all the parents is at least spend 15 to 20 minutes every day with your child have a discussion around academics a discussion about the education this appeal i am being making this appeal to all the parents i hope that uh, you are having a good uh, summer vacation as far as the ifp a uh, training lot of our teacher friends uh, asked us about giving training about the ict use of ict for ict for teaching and learning we have come up with a model the model is as follows we requested the higher education council also to join us in this journey of uh, using ict using digital technology for teaching and learning and now the the model which has come out is for every one mandal two mandal we have identified one engineering college and one lecturer or assistant professor of this engineering college from the computer science or electronics uh, department will be a nodal person for this project of using ict for learning and teaching and this nodal person will be given training by all these our technology partners whether it's a byju's whether it's a tab for the tab the samson or for the acer which is going to be our partner for for ifp they will get the training they will be our nodal person they in turn will engage with all the teachers in those one or two mandals and that's the model we want to strengthen so that it's a model where not only we will put all the videos training videos on our dicha platform but also physically this person will be available to all our teachers to ask any doubts about how to use the hardware how to use this, this technology or how to use the content so that's the training program which is also on anvil if everything goes right uh, from friday onwards we will have first the training of these uh, trainers and then when the schools are reopened they, they will session with them at the mandal headquarter or at that engineering college friends i wish all of you a very very happy uh, new academic year your new academic year will be uh, another feather in your cap may the new academic year end of the new academic year you become definitely more skilled teacher because you will be using the smart tvs and an ifp together all of us together we bring glory to our state by doing well in the national assessment survey which is due in november of this coming academic year i'll conclude the this episode of the program from the desk of principal secretary very good evening